Oh, I broke it. Uh oh. Experiencing problems. Welcome back to another legit day in the legit household. Today we start the vlog after grocery shopping. My wife did an amazing job. And uh, we're out here, man. We're really out here. So welcome to another vlog. Hope you guys have an amazing day today. And let's just make today a very legit day. Let's get this thing started. What is it? I you a surprise. It's a drink. It's a workout drink. It's a superior hydration. Yeah! Workout drink! So we're gonna get out, big. I know we're gonna get huge. We're, we're gonna get ginormous. So this morning we have a rather rare situation first of all. So if you guys have been keeping up with these video vlogs, you guys know that we went to Ross the other day and we picked up these size 17 shoes. Like literally this is my head and this is the shoe. That is literally how big the size 17 shoe is. So you guys are probably wondering why did I pick up a size 17 Kobe? The reason why I actually picked it up is because from Ross these were originally $30. But when we found them, they were on sale for only seven dollars and freaking fifty cents for a pair of Kobe. So you, I knew your boy had to snatch it up. So I said, I want to give back to my subscribers, y'all. If anybody is a size 17, hit me up. Now I have been getting hit up by a lot of people, but only one person so far has sent me actual proof that he is a size 17. So I'm gonna hook up my boy today, and basically, guys, this is what his foot looks like. So first of all, this is proof of his size 17 sneaker. It says 17 on the tongue I'm not sure if you guys can see that and here is my boys actual foot man size 17 proof right here for my subscribers and like I don't even have a foot fetish or anything but I kind of needed to know so I could show you guys like that he was actually size 17 so we're about to go ship these off for my boy and I started thinking like yo what box am I gonna use to ship off these size 17 sneakers and I, and I think oh wait Jordan always overdoes it with their Jordan 12 box like look how big their box is it's so unnecessary they even have to put a little piece of cardboard in there just so that way like the shoes can hold in place because like literally my shoes are this this big and the box is this big it makes no sense so anyways I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this box to ship off these Kobe's just because like they actually fit in this box and this is probably like the only box that they'll fit in so yeah my boy I got some Kobe's coming to you just a way to get back to my legit nation size 17 let's get it man so here in the legit house today I wanted to do something really really cool for today's vlog so I started thinking to myself what is new, what is fresh, what is something that nobody has ever, ever done before. And so I started thinking about, you know, the makeup girls, how they'll be doing their makeup and then they have a guy that does like, he speaks over their voice, it's like a voiceover, and he basically says what the girls are doing. And I said, how can I do that but with sneakers? And basically what I came up with is, today I'm gonna challenge my wife Beth and see if she can show off my entire sneaker collection to you guys. And I'm not gonna give her a name of a sneaker, I'm not gonna give her knowledge, I'm not gonna give her anything. Anything that she, you know, learned or, you know, learned in the past is gonna have to be used now. So we're gonna see how she reacts to that. And let's go do it. Hey, baby. Yeah. So I had this idea it's for today's video, right? Basically, you know how, like, they have the girls that do, like, the voiceover, the, the guys that do the voiceovers from the makeup girls, like, videos, right? Yes. Well, I was thinking maybe you could do a sneaker collection video and basically you show off my sneaker collection like all of my sneaker collections I'm not gonna give you any like knowledge about the sneakers I'm not gonna tell you any names anything that you've known from the past you have to use now you want to do it? Um, okay. All right, let's so do it. So I'm gonna like just guess your sneakers? Well, you know, we don't really guess because you know most of them, don't you? Uh, not the best. Well, let's see how you do. Ready? Okay. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. All right, guys. So we pretty much set up everything ready for Beth's little challenge. We're going to see how well she does on guessing the sneaker collection. Like I said, I'm not giving her any information. I'm not helping her out whatsoever. Whatever you guys see on the camera is raw footage, and we're going to see how well she does. So without further ado, let's begin the sneaker collection featuring my wife. This is the Jordan 1. Uh-huh. Dance something Lance. Something Lance? Yeah, it's something Lance. Is this a Stan Lance? 
Stan Lance. <laughs> the Stan Lance. I don't know. It's, I know it's something with Lance. Okay. So that's how you're going to show them off? You're not going to say the yellow and blue sneakers? Okay. You're just going to say the Stan Lance? Okay, okay. This looks like an Oath KC colorway. What? Right? That's not even OKC's colors, though. For real? Okay, moving on. I know what these are called. What are those? The bread ones. Yes. And some, then these are red and black. Some will fight you because they're the band ones, but I still call them the breads. I know they're banned because you have the big old red and black shirt with the X on it. Royal blue ones. Mm hmm. And then this is just blue and black. Right. I know the names to these. This is one, two, a number one. Mm hmm. These are the one ultra high Space Jam collection. Got it right. You have so many ones in your collection. And then these are twos, and these are the white and black version. Where's the black? I mean, wait. <laughs> white and red <laughs> collection. I don't know what these are called though, so I can't give you the proper name to them. But they're all white and they only have a little bit of red, but you, you smudged them right there. Technically we restored them, but yeah. Oh. These are the Concord, or no not Concords, they're the 11 Lows in, this is a new one. It's like, I don't remember what this is called. It's something blue. These are like, you said they're Easter-ish. Mm -hmm. You wore these for Easter. Uh huh. But it's like a teal blue kind of. Right. Sky blue color, only on this part. And then on this little like piece right there. Yep. I know these. Oh shoot, the, these are threes. These are the true blue threes. The true blue threes, because they have like the blue right here and right here and right here. But they also sell some without the blue and it's like black instead. And you have some of those too. Oh no you don't. These are also the, the, the threes, cement threes. These are, see? They don't have blues. So there's those two. Those are both threes. Oh, I know this name. These are the, the, Toro, Toro Bravo fours. Nope. Oh wait, no, because they're not red. I know they're fours. The we'll just call this the golden one, the golden shoe. And they're kind of black suede, so they look like a more luxurious shoe. If you're looking for a luxurious shoe, get these golden fours. These are not re retros. The Space Jam collection came out with ones. Nines, elevens, and thirteens. Nope. No? Well, these are not retro, so, so it doesn't count. But they're part of the Space Jam collection. And you have the whole Space Jam collection. Those aren't that nice. I mean, they're okay. They're comfortable. These are the Olympic sevens. Sixes. Okay, Olympic sixes. And they're red, white, and blue. Do they call them Olympic because they came out during like the time that the Olympics was on? It's an okay shoe. I have a pair of sixes, and they're not that comfortable. Show us your sixes. These are mine, and yes, they're super tiny, they're a size four. But these are the only sixes they had that were not adult. They didn't release in adult sizes, and they just look like Tiffany blue sixes. Mm -hmm. I wore them to a sneaker con, and my heels started hurting because there's no padding on the heel. So it was really just bulky and hard to walk in. Moving on. I know these because I bought you these. Mm -hmm. These are the Space Jam 9. Mm -hmm. And they're sparkly, and I thought they were a little bit girly because they're sparkly. And I like this shoe because I like the little detailing, and I like that it was part of the collection, even though it's not blue because half of the collection's blue. So this was nice. This was a shoe that stood out, and I'm happy that I bought it for you. I'm happy too. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you too. Your all-time favorite shoe, the Concord 11, but they're not low. They're the regular ones. Mm-hmm. You want the Concord 11 Lows, right? Yeah. I had them before, but I got rid of them. Well, these are nice. They kind of look like they're part of the Space Jams, but they're not. Don't get fooled. Because they have the little, like, blue Jordan right there. It's because they changed the Space Jam color to be more purple instead of blue like it used to be. Mm -hmm. But these are an all-around good shoe, and if my boy, my husband, if my husband loves them, you should go pick up a pair or a pair of Concord 11s in your size. Was that a paid advertisement? 
No, I'm not sponsored by Jordan. They don't pay me enough for that. These are the Space Jam 11s. Yeah, and that's all I know. But it's it looks exactly like the, the Concord 11s, except it's all black. And even the little front sign in the front's the same, so... Jordan's just making more money off of y'all. The only thing they change is this little blue Jordan thing, and then they cost double the price. So that's it for the Space Jam 11s and all your other 11s. Nope, just kidding. We have the closing ceremony low 11. They're an okay shoe. I mean, they look better on than they do on camera. They're not, I don't know. I wouldn't wear these. Even though they're pretty, I wouldn't wear them. And that's all we have to say about the closing ceremony. Now we move on to the cream Adidas Boost. Nope. You, they're just dirty? Yeah, they're just dirty. They're not creams. Oh, then the white Adidas Boost. They used to be white Adidas NMD. Oh, they're not bo a Boost? They are Boost, but they're NMD Boost. Oh, well, there you go. They're very dirty. He has to clean them. Yeah, they're I not do. white. They're my These creams look exactly like this. Those are my camping shoes. <laughs> The OVO 10s, yeah, by Drake, and they have an owl in this part right there. Mm -hmm. And then it says like all of his accomplishments right here on the bottom of the shoe, and that's how you can tell that they're 10s. Drake made this shoe, and I mean it's not the prettiest shoe. It has different textures on this little part right there and the, the wrap right there, like the front. Mm -hmm. And then it just has a gold Jordan jump man. And that's all for the OVO 10. These are LeBron James and they are, let's see, let's guess, cause I don't know the number. This is nines, 13s, 13, I got it right, lows. Yeah, okay. And it's a maroon. I like this shoe on you, but I don't know how I feel about guys wearing maroon on their feet. What's the problem with maroon? I don't know, it's a girl color. All right, well then I guess I've been wearing a girl color this whole time. You bought these when you were with me in Disney World. We didn't buy them in Disney World. Okay, well we bought them at the Nike outlet. Yep. You were still in Florida. These are also LeBron James, and these are nines. Nope. Higher or lower? 13s again? Yes. In like a tan leather? And then they have this like black detailing that wraps like around to the bottom of the shoe. These look, these are one of the Nike, nice, nicer, nicer sneakers that he has. These are pretty good. I approve. And I like the little gold or the silver ends to these laces. The Tiffany Blue SB1. Mm -hmm. No, not ones. They're not ones. No. Oh no, you said they look like ones, but they're not ones. They're mm -hmm. just a collaboration. Yep. Okay. Well, this is a Tiffany Blue and it's from Diamond Supply. And I think that these shoes are hideous. Who sent me those shoes? Uh, David Got Kicks. Because he likes Tiffany Blue. Mm hmm. Yeah. So shout out to you, David Got Kicks. Thanks for sending my husband a pair of these. And I don't like it though. I don't like this shoe. Why? Because I think it looks like ghetto. Like a sneaker person. Like, mm. um, like a skater. Like a skater should be wearing these. Yeah. Those are the only SBs I like though. Pretty much. Because your favorite color is Tiffany blue. It's not, I mean, it's not my favorite color. Adida Ultra Boost. Nice save. <laughs> and these are black, and you don't really wear these because they're not dirty. I wear them to the gym. Oh. Well, these are a nice shoe. I like it. This boost material, if you wear it, it feels like you're like walking on the moon. Like mm -hmm. they're bouncy. Like I tried yeah. on your Yeezys and they just feel like you're bouncing in them. Higher black Yeezys. Yep. And they're real. These are running for a thousand dollars on Fly Club and that's all I know. Um, Kanye West made them. At first I didn't like Yeezys, but I mean they're growing on me, but that's because that's all he wears. The cream Yeezys. V2, and then these are white, and they used to be white, but it's very hard to maintain them and keep them clean. And this is another Yeezy Kanye West edition. Oh, I broke it. Uh-oh. Experiencing problems. Vans, leather vans. That's it. How many times have I worn those? Like three times, not even two. Like once. No, you wore them once, but you wore it the day after, so that counts like twice. Yeah. And that's it. You really didn't wear these for that long. Yep. But they're leather vans, and that's why you liked them. Mm -hmm. The canvas is leather. 
if you guys if you guys want to know what those are then you'll have to see my other sneaker collection video these are also 12s mm -hmm. these are 12s the first pair of 12s in your collection mm -hmm. and I always think that they're twos because if you look at it it says T W O and three what? two three twenty three oh well I always think that they're twos but I remembered that they're 12s and these are the bread 12s or you said that they were another name but I didn't hear after bread 12s mm -hmm. and that's it and show them what those are at the top this is a car wrapped custom Yeezy after Yeezy. a joke uh, I mean Jordan one. yeah <laughs> it's custom wrapped in car wrap Mm -hmm. And it's really cool. It looks way better than what it was before. Mm -hmm. And go check out that video. And because it's customized after a car, and it's a Joker car. So that's why we, they picked the green and the the green and the purple. And then we used that one for that one, but we didn't do both of them. So we did a makeup inspired Jordan one, and we used my makeup. He used my makeup. He took it without me knowing. That's true. And they made me do the work. I had to use lipstick and try to copy this bread band one. And I mean, guys, I think I did a pretty good job. I think that's a pretty good job using eyeliner and lipstick. I copied the band ones and made my own. And that is all. That's all for the video. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, I don't know the end of your videos. Yes, you do. What do I say at the end? Peace, homies. Stay blessed. We're out of here. So honestly, for Beth being a girl, she honestly did a pretty good job. I know she's not the best, guys. Give her some slack. But, you know, your boy taught her everything she knows. So if there's anyone to blame for her, you know, not knowledge of not knowing a sneaker, blame me. Because, of course, I don't really know everything there is to know about every single sneaker. But in my opinion, she killed it. She did awesome. She's the best. She's my beautiful wife, and I love her at the end of the day. So make sure that you guys stay till the end of the vlog. But today's word of the day, guys. If you're new, we do word of the day every single day. And today's word of the day comes from 1 Corinthians 15, 56 through 57. It says, the sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ, man. Before I knew Christ, before I knew God, the sting of death is sin, man. And so, before I knew God, my sin was leading me to death. But with Christ, we have a chance to go into eternity, which is heaven with the Creator, with God. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, God, for sending your Son to us to give us everlasting life, guys. Something you got to understand is before God sent His Son down into the world, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins, they had to make sacrifices and they had to sacrifice, you know, all kinds of animals and stuff. But through Jesus Christ, you know, <clears throat> not do we don't have to go through those sacrifices anymore. Uh, Jesus Christ was the ultimate sacrifice that paid for our sins. So thanks be to God for our victory through Jesus Christ. So look, I don't know how you guys are going to feel about this, but I made some changes to my, you know, <clears throat> my sneaker storage workroom now it is the ultimate pad man cave for when my boys come over we got the sneakers we got the shelf for the website we got the sneaker boxes and we got the xbox you guys already know man fung bros talking about yeezys you know what i'm saying so anytime my boys come over now we got this you know little seat we got the dx racer the reason i moved this in here was because i felt like it was taking up a lot of space in the living room now in the living room is the desktop and it looks cleaner it looks nicer it looks neater so yeah man we got this little pad going on so i'm gonna chill for a little bit and then i'm gonna head to bed guys but thank you guys so much for watching you know this vlog today this little sneaker collection thing beth did an amazing job at that but yo guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already a part of the Legit Nation, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you guys have any other ideas of things that I could do for these vlogs, let me know down below. But until tomorrow, guys, I will see you guys in the next one because we vlog every single day and it's always legit. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, homies. Stay blessed. We're out of here.